Hi students, see you again. So this one is a tutorial 5.5, diffraction of the wave. Okay, let me see the question. So objective question. Okay, let's see the question one. Which one is a true the show about the diffraction of the water? Okay, let's see here. This one is a uh, obstacle. So obstacle, they sure must be closer. Okay, after the wave diffracted, they will join back. See this one far away, so this one out. Okay, this one, they will join back. Okay, this one normally should be circular. Then this one also no, so the answer should be B. Okay, number two, which one the wavelength changes? How does the frequency and wavelength change when the wave in the ripple tank through the narrow gap? Okay, the frequency should unchange. Then the wavelength also unchanged. So the answer is C. Okay, number three. Okay, they show the plain water, the wave they are approaching to the slit between the two obstacles. Okay, now the angle increases when? Okay, make this one angle increases. So that means more circular. More circular means the gate must be smaller. So from here, the size of the slit increases. So out. The frequency of the wave increases. That's a not related. The wavelength of the wave increases. Yes. So vector is a uh, wavelength is a one of the factor. Okay. Number four. The driver is able to hear the sound and other car along. Uh, although the car is beyond his vision. So this one is a diffraction. Okay. Number five. Okay. They show above the observation that occur when the razor blade. That's uh, eliminated by the point source of the monochromatic. So this one is what phenomena? So this one phenomena is a diffraction. Okay, then we go to number six. Okay, number six, there's an effect of the diffraction of the light wave passing through a slit of the very uh, obvious when... Okay, what situation they produce are obvious. So we got two situations. First one is a slit becomes smaller. Another one must be the wavelength become bigger. So from here, distance between the source and light, that's a not related. Okay, now we go to C. The slit become increased. Also no. The last one should be D. Okay, seven. Which one is a pattern? Uh, when the monochromatic light, they pass through a slit. So a slit means diffraction. So which one is the answer for the diffraction? Okay, when the size of the slit increases. So when the slide of the slit increases, means diffracted become less. So from here, diffraction pattern should be A. Okay, then we go number 8. This one is a pass through the pin hole from the monochromatic light. So your answer is either B or donkey because center must be the bright color. So and also the bright color must be bigger size. So the answer should be B. Okay, number nine, the sound that show the more easily diffracted compared to the light. The reason is wavelength. Wavelength of the sound is much bigger than the light wavelength. Okay, then we go to the question number four. Diagram that show about the pattern of the water wave. Then moving towards the gap, okay, between the wall and or at the water theme park. Frequency is a five hertz. Okay, now on the diagram, draw the wave pattern after pass through the gap. So you need to measure. Okay, this one, the gap and also the lambda. Okay, if both is almost the same, so you still circular. If this one, the gap is smaller, then more circular. If the gap become bigger, less circular. So we find it is almost the same. Same like the wavelength. So I still need to draw circular. Okay, let's see the answer. Okay, a little bit circular. Then the wave pattern is diffracted. Okay, after that, spread out. Okay, then we go through the question. Name the wave uh, phenomena. The phenomena must be followed. The, quest, uh, the phenomena topics, there's a 5.5, diffracted of the wave. Okay, now you need to calculate the velocity of the water wave. So from here, the velocity, we're just using one formula. There's a V equal F lambda. Okay, so from here, V equal 5 hertz. Okay, lambda is 0.8. So from here, I get it. There's a 4 ms negative 1. Okay, number 5. Diagram 5.1, they show about arrangement of the parameters. For the experiment, they want to study the phenomena. Diagram 5.2, they show the wave pattern formed by the screen when the plane was passed through the gap. Okay, let's see the screen. 
Okay, so this one is the screen, the screen they show after pass through the gate, they're circular. Okay, name the phenomena again, there's a diffraction of the wave. Okay, observe 5.2, compare the wavelength and also the wave pattern of the wave before and after they pass through the gate. Wavelength, before and after the wavelength support is unchanged. So from here, we find it unchanged. Wave pattern, before it's a straight, after pass becomes circular. So we can write it, becomes circular after passing through the gap. Okay, now you need to state any changes to the amplitude of the wave before and after passing. Sure, after passing, the amplitude becomes less. Okay, so you just answer decreases after passing through the gap. Then you need to explain why that decreases. So important is you spread out. Okay, the direction, the spread to wider area, energy decreases, so amplitude decrease. So we just answer wave energy is spread out after passing through the gap, energy decreases. Okay, then we go to D. The gap is made wider. So what is the effect on the wave passing through the gap? When they make wider means the diffraction become less. Okay, diffraction become less means the circular also become less. Okay, less circular, less diffracted. Okay, in the space below, you need to draw the wave pattern after they pass through the wider gap. When you draw the wider gap, make sure you draw uh, less circular when it's just after diffracted. So I draw the gap must be bigger enough than the wave flag. So this one is my diagram. Okay, this one is a wave flag. So I make the opening become wider a little bit. Okay, now can you see there's a less circular already? They already become the straight line. So you need to draw the arrow for uh, spread out. Okay, then we go to the last question. This one they show you two diagram. Okay, 10.1 is a narrow slit. Okay, and 10.2 is a wider slit. So from here, you need to compare the wave pattern and also the wavelength. Okay, for the wave before and after they pass through the slit. Okay, number two, you need to relate the size of the slit and also wave pattern. And the last one, you need to mention what is the phenomena. Okay, so now we go to answer the wave pattern first. So the first one is a wave pattern 10.1 is more circular after diffraction. Okay, now we say about the wavelength. Okay, the wavelength in the both diagram remain the same before and after they're passing through the gate. Okay, now we need to relate the size and also the wave pattern. So from here we know when the size slit becomes smaller, the wave pattern is more circular. So let's see here. Okay, as the size of the slit decreases, wave pattern more circular. Okay, and also the wavelength constant. Okay, number four, we need to mention the phenomena. So the phenomena should be diffraction of water wave. So until here, our question is finished. So hopefully you mark the answer. Then we go, the coming soon is a 5.6 interference of the wave. So thanks for your watching.